Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy VSET back bring you guys another video and this video is my 101 Nocturne Toten actually first attempt for Black Ops 3. Uh, in this game it took about 13 hours of game time and the gobble gums I ran were catchback, alchemic antithesis, soda fountain, bullet boost, and wall power. Obviously, use the wall power to get the guns upgraded, such as the Shiva and the RK-5, uh, and then use the bullet boost to get the variants, such as Blast Furnace, Dead Wire, Turned, whatever it is you want to run. Now, a little disclaimer, one thing that I found to be more beneficial for my game was running Dead Wire only on the Shiva. Um, after this, I had two downs at this point, and I stopped using my third weapon. The reason being, I took my two downs, not being able to cycle through my, one, my weapons quick enough. Originally, I was running an RK-5 with Blast Furnace, but I just didn't seem like it was beneficial enough and then i tried rk5 turned which i really enjoyed but the problem was i felt like rounds were going slower because a lot of the times the turn zombies was kind of killing my zombies and therefore uh and it was taking longer and i wasn't being able to kill as many zombies with the shiva deadwire so i ended up running for me what i found to be best was the shiva deadwire with the t-gun basically being your security weapon now had i had crate powers which i didn't i would have just ran crate power opposed to wall power and then try to get the shiva out of the box as well as getting the thunder gun pack punch to the zeus cannon so that way you have double the ammo uh which makes the game a lot easier probably quicker and, and a lot safer because you can take more shots uh so basically the strategy you want to run is right here you want to keep the help door closed and go around the map to hit the box uh i used to run this strategy back in black ops 1 as like a low round strategy to get to basically around like round 30 round 40 uh however in black ops 3 because of being able to have the shiva with deadwire this is just a high round strategy you can run uh so basically what you want to do is just camp down here and you're really able to kill the zombies obviously very quickly as soon as you have the guns upgraded and stuff in the t-gun so you don't got to worry about spamming and stuff like that and then once you uh get to the higher rounds like you know you get to your 40 50 plus and so on and so forth you basically run this little train up that i do here uh it's fairly easy especially having widow's wine it obviously keeps you nice and safe one thing about this map on black ops 3 is it's actually a very slow map uh in comparison to obviously other black ops 3 maps i think the reason being is the spawns are the same as bo1 but they're slower and the reason why they're slower lower is my theory is they spawn in and then they despawn because they're too far away so where they're spawning here they should be spawning upstairs as well as well as possibly the thompson room I'm not totally sure about that but at least the stairs above the thompson room so they're too far away so they end up despawning so there are times like right now where there's only a few zombies on the map and it, i think they just go through this constant loop of despawning and not spawning because obviously this is round 100 the spawn range should be totally maxed out and yet that's like a solid 10 seconds there of only having five or six zombies on the map uh like i said this was my first attempt on nocturne toten and uh yeah i mean i don't know if i'm gonna try it again on black ops 3 i was trying to go for the world record shout out to my boy who got it awkwardly sneaky um but yeah, you just basically run this nice little loop up right here. It's fairly simple. It's very easy. Uh, my theory is if you can get your first attempt to be this high, uh, obviously the map has to be easy. So like I said, the only thing you got to worry about this map is basically fighting boredom. But the biggest theory with this map is, and all my zombie maps, is when in doubt, shoot it out, man. You got to shoot the T-Gun. Just shoot the T-Gun. Don't sweat it. Shoot as many as you can. And uh, yeah, guys, that is my 101 Nocturne Toten game. I hope this video helped you guys out. Or if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up up if you guys liked it if not then uh maybe watch it again let me know what you guys think thank you guys i'm out and i'll see you guys next time peace